morning YouTube this is um, gonna be a week in my life so you're gonna see the mundane and the routine um, welcome back to my channel so this is Monday morning I have a very important meeting today and so as per not usual I'm gonna be doing makeup to go to work I normally put on moisturizer and that's me I don't even do edges or anything I don't care about that I really don't on Friday, my co-workers did this in a plait and I haven't pulled it out since. I don't know, I'm gonna try the refresher, moisturizer, makeup, clothes, and out of here. Because the meeting is not at my workplace, it's elsewhere. And if it's good news, I'll share it with you too, because it may be very well a testimony. So with that said, let's get into it. We don't have time to waste. Good morning this is my makeup routine or my routine for Monday where I got ready with makeup so I did my eyebrows before that I of course moisturized and you know did some concealer on the eye for the eyeshadow to pop I used a darker brown as well as a light gold shimmer on the eye which was followed up by some mascara where I then did some highlight, foundation, then I set that with a sort of powder to make my face mattified. Hey YouTube, today is Tuesday and I didn't do a get ready with nothing. I'm at home and that is strange because I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Um, I'm home because my body was trying to kill me and you know because of that I just didn't feel okay couldn't go into work today so I'm at home and uh, yeah this is me at almost four o'clock in the afternoon just filming because I did not remember about that I could not get up out of bed this morning I finally did roll out at about after 10 showered when did I eat what did I eat I had something to eat I think yeah I had a snack to my vitamins painkillers because on International Women's Day I'm not feeling like I, I like this position of being a woman <laughs> um, I made it that back later when I feel less moody and uh, <laughs> yeah um, symptoms I've been experiencing are bloating, nausea, wanting to go to the bathroom way too often. You know what I mean? Okay, cool. I don't have to say it. Oh, that's so embarrassing. And you know, yeah, that's me right now. I look not great. I'm in an OT shirt, some loose pants. And you must know what's going on. If you're a woman, you know, happy International Women's Day to you too. That's what's up. I'm doing some event planning, assignments. There's no rest for the weekend. And when I'm finished, I'm gonna drink some, nah, probably won't drink the soup. Just gonna do some, have something to eat, go to my bed. Cause I still don't feel good. I just took two painkillers and I'm yet to feel it doing anything. So that said, being as moody as I am, that's 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 today that's tuesday so yeah hopefully wednesday is better Hi. Hi. it's 6 a.m i've been up from 4 30 working on an assignment that is coming from my neck it's been coming from my neck and i'm super stressed not excited to go to work today but we don't have much time it's bathe, jumping close and head out. I'm getting a ride to work. And so I need to be ready in the next 15 minutes. <laughs> so you know the routine. Brush teeth, wash face, be it. So 
AJ, baby self. Good morning, YouTube. I just my day off. It's it's Thursday. I'm in my sweater. Some baggy shorts, whatever. Doesn't matter. I just saw a video of this man, this woman eating a muffin, and she was smaller than me. Well, so that don't mean much. What are you saying? She was much smaller than me, AJ. She don't reach my size. She, she, no, she is like a medium sized woman, right? And in the video she's eating and she's showing TikTok her muffin. And the man, in, man who we can't see, just like how AJ's off screen, says something to the effect of, You shouldn't be concerned with showing TikTok your muffin, your priority should be losing weight for me. And I was like, What did he say? No, the entirety of it was mad. The entirety of it. If you want to tell somebody that you care about that, oh, I think you could not answer. Wait, there's a way to say it. Yeah? What, what's the way to say it? There's a way to say it. No, you can bring it up. You can say something like, you know, I feel like health and exercise helps with a lot of uh, exercise. Yeah, like Shut up. Euphemism is very important. And t- showing no, people no, no, that no, you no, care no. about them, even though they may be struggling with something, is, is a good idea. Because people su- suffer with esteem issues. People suffer with... um. No, some people suffer with it more than others, and you need to be cons- you need to be considerate of people's feelings when you're telling them whether it's not it's not okay to be big and brawling. But it's all right. The truth is that some people will be offended whether or not you say it nicely. Shut your ugly face right now. How dare you call me ugly? And that's the truth. But I, I will always advocate for being. Be quiet. You know, some of feel like you're not things from my perspective. Further, I'm going to feel like you're not disrespecting me. I'm going to leave your place. I'm going to leave your place. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm not trying to disrespect you. But I'm saying, always be considerate of people's feelings. When you're doing things, how you say it is important and not just what you say. I never said that. I don't remember saying it. I just said, shut your ugly face or something like that. Anyway, that's besides the point. We were having a debate about that and I wanted to share it with you. Share it with you. I get some work done. I have lots of work to do. Lots of work to do. I'm swimming in assignments and I ain't got no time. Hey guys, update. I'm taking a break, a 20 minute break because I'm so stressed out. I can't. This assignment is killing me. Like, I don't know what I'm doing there, if I'm doing it right. And so I decided to give myself a breather. I was watching this video online. It's called Dating Black. It's uh, a UK uh, perspective on how what it feels like to date black people. People within your race, within my race. Um... And this lady said something that I found really interesting. You have to see. She said, watch this. Not she. She. You gotta say with Africa accent, chant him. It's just give him a chance, you know. Don't be so dismissive. Don't, you know, he does one thing wrong, you want to run. Just, you know, let him let people make mistakes. Sometimes you have to just close your eyes to a red flag and continue. With caution. What did she say? Close your eyes and continue with caution is what she said. Close your eyes to the red flag and continue with caution. What? Ma'am. Ma'am. <laughs> no. Don't. And I said, don't wake me up for anything. Do I wake me up to ask me anything? If I'm sleeping, let me sleep. Like sleeping dogs. What? You know what I'm saying? Saying that's what I say. That goes for me when I'm sleeping. Don't wake me up for anything. Don't ask me anything unless it's an emergency. When I 
this I've gone to bed at like 8, 9 o'clock in the night. You can complete me by 5 o'clock in the morning to ask me something simple and mundane that you could have texted me in the day about. You know? You get the gist? You understand? You're good. Well, number two, don't eat my food unless I've given you permission to do so. Don't touch my food. That's a big boundary you've crossed. Don't touch my food. Number three, I don't want to rule. If you want to use my stuff, just ask me. I'm like, oh, that me saying no is very low. Because I like to give. But those are my rules. Don't wake me up on my bed. If, especially if I went to my bed late. Don't wake me up on my bed. Don't eat my food. And if you want to use my shit, just ask. So, I'm going to go put on my clothes now. I'm not in a good mood. Assignment due today that I didn't get to start yet. It's 20% of my grade. <laughs> so, guys, it's a rainbow and sunshine today. Yeah, well, that was. Because I just moisturized, girl face look fresh. Good night. <laughs> well, guys, I made a major decision. Ew, plastic bag. To resign from my current job. And that's what you didn't know. Well, that's what's exciting about Friday. I'm handing in my resignation today and not coming back. So, I just want to say my goodbyes. Good morning, y'all. It's a good day to be awake. <laughs> Yo, you haven't seen me this happy in any of the videos prior to before this. I am back to my usual self. I'm also not at work because in the clip before, I said I was resigning. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. Um, I did resign from my job. But this week was pretty eventful, wasn't it? I still have a lot of stuff to do. Two assignments. Stuff for church. And I'm exhausted. I need a cup of coffee. And I ain't got no milk. <laughs> but yeah. I got my breakfast. I just need something warm in my stomach. Because I'm tired. I need a cup of coffee. I'm looking a little dry. So I'm going to add some moisturizer to my face. And hit the road jack. What you hear in the background is a pressure cooker. Um, my mom's cooking something. I use this moisturizer a lot. Um, I don't know, clear and clear, dual action moisturizer and salicylic acid active medication. All right, I didn't even know. <laughs> I didn't read it. And you must be saying, oh, that's so bad. That's a moisturizer. And I'm like, okay, Johnson Johnson is like, look, my hand. You just run away with it. I just did not read it. That's bad. My sister had told me that um, her best friend Matthew uses it and he has good reviews. So I was like, ah, cool. If he read it, it must be safe. Oh, that's why my pimples have been going away like this. <laughs> Don't call me stupid, guys. I'm not promising that. But this should be a very busy day. Let's get the show on the hey guys, this is editing me. Two things. Two things. You're getting me raw and unprovoked. Like, that sounds weird. 
I mean, these are clips of me in my everyday life doing me, doing me stuff. I'm not very exciting or entertaining. That's one. Two. Um. You will, you will, you will see me bantering with my siblings, talking, doing work. But yeah, that's literally my life. Also, I want to note that in in Thursday's clip, I was having a conversation with my brother about weight loss and how men's opinions on women's body and blah, blah, blah. And I said that you should be conscientious of how you talk to people. And in that video, I was like, shut your ugly face. That's mean. <laughs> that sounds so hypocritical, but love. Lord forgive me. You need to really do be kind. Be kind to the people that you love. And that's a word for me. Because I can be so mean. Sometimes really I can be so mean. I'm working on it though. The Lord has been speaking to my heart. And I want it to be translated in my behavior. So this is a word for you as well. Be kind. Be kind. My brother, for one, has been speaking to me about how I, I sometimes lash out without thinking about other person's feelings and because my brother has given me such a good word with that I can share with others I want to share with you be kind be kind um the next thing is the other the YouTube reader was watching what the lady said close your eyes sometimes to think that you, to things you may consider red flags is it's good and bad advice to some extent. I think at the time, because my hormones are raging high, I may have overreacted at that clip. Some people mis may misunderstand what she's trying to say. And I interpreted it probably wrong at the time. She was trying to say that allow people second chances. It I, I feel like context is important depending on the situation. So, yeah, with that said, take that with a grain of salt. And I, it, I would encourage you to watch the entirety of the YouTube video because you never see all of it. So, watch that YouTube video, do with it what you may, and make your own decision and choices based on if you think the advice is good for you to take, then by all means, take it. I'm not telling you. To let people take it for granted and sh let them show you who they are and you don't pay attention to the science but if somebody makes mistakes you should also be forgiving um yeah but it depends on what he does really sis it really depends on what he does or bro depends on what she does don't want nobody treat you like you're not making mac all right cool bye and that's a wrap don't forget to